what to you is the difference, because you've had a bit of foot in both, uh, between physics and mathematics in the way it helps us understand the world? Well, there's, to be frank, there's a lot more overlap in physics and math, I think, than has been. I mean, well, maybe not more, but there's certainly a lot. But I think, again, the kinds of questions you're asking are usually different. Um, mathematicians like the structure itself. Mm -hmm. Physicists are trying to concentrate on, to some extent, on the consequences for the world. Um, but there is a lot of overlap. The string theory is an example. There's certain theories where th there's a, a, a certain kind of mathematical beauty to it. There's also, you know, there's also some really cool ideas that you get in particle physics where you can describe what's going on and connect it to other ideas. That's also really beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think, I think basically insights can be beautiful. Um, you know, they might seem simple, but sometimes, and sometimes they genuinely are. And sometimes they're built on a whole system that you have to understand before. I mean, if you actually saw Einstein's equations written out in components, mm -hmm. You wouldn't think it's so beautiful. You write it in a compact way, it looks nice. Uh, what do you think about the successes and the failures of string theory? To what degree do you think it succeeded? To what degree is it not succeeded yet or has failed? I think to talk about any science in terms of success and failure often misses the point because sure. there's not some absolute thing. And I think, I do think that string theorists were a bit overly ambitious, not overly ambitious, but a little bit overly arrogant mm -hmm. in the beginning, thinking they could solve many problems that they weren't going to solve. That's not to say the methods and um, advances in string theory don't exist, and um, but they certainly weren't able to immediately solve all the problems they thought they could solve. But it has given us tools, it has given us some insights, um, but it becomes almost a sociological question of like how much it should be one or the other. I do think that you can get caught up in the problems themselves and and sometimes you can get caught up in the methods and just sort of do other examples. Mm -hmm. So the real physics insights often come from people who are thinking about physics as well as, as the math. Mm 